Hello, hello. Welcome to Crazy E Games. Crazy E Games. I have a feeling like people who watch this and hear me say Crazy E Games, Crazy and E kind of like merges into one word and it just sounds like Crazy Games. Crazy Games. This is such a crazy game. But yeah. Anyways, we're back in Genshin Impact. And uh, we're doing this. After arriving at the Guizhong Ballistic on uh, Mount Tianhen, you are surprised to meet another member of the Qixing there. Her name is Keqing. Keqing. And she gives you detailed instructions on how to ascend to the Jade Chamber. Paimon, however, is preoccupied with another detail that Keqing mentioned, the custom of bringing a greeting gift. Okay. So yeah, we need to get a gift before we head to... Oh, there's another city in the sky. Where's the actual city in the sky that we're looking for? I guess, I guess I can't see it from here. I wonder when we'll actually get to that city in the sky, because that one, it looks really cool. Anyway, uh, where do I need to go? Sure. Coco Goat. A legendary Adepti beast. Oh, the Coco Goat's actually a real thing. I thought it was just uh, Chi Chi um, pronouncing coconuts wrong. Coconatsu. Where is Ningguang's like jade chamber? I swear it was around here somewhere. Oh well. It sounded like someone calling for help. It sounded like someone was singing. I did not hear anything, so I'm not sure which one to go for. Well, I guess we're gonna have to kill them all. Wipe them out. All of them. Yeah, they're stronger than me right now. 82. I'm my strongest character right now is level 80. And I need to get to uh, adventure rank 50 before I can ascend anyone to level 90. But I feel like that will take a very, very long time before I get to that point. Or be able to actually ascend anyone to level 90. Because, uh,. The amount of hero grit it required to get from level 70 to 80 was like, I think, 60 or something like that. So, that's like what? You're getting four grit at a time for. Ooh. Four grit at a time per. Um, uh. Ley line crop event. Outcrop event. That's like <laughs> 12. 12. No. 15. 15 uh, crop events to get enough rent to uh, ascend someone from level 70 to level 80. But then again, you do get like the smaller one, the adventure, like. 
whatever that one's called, and maybe that also adds up too. But uh, yeah, it would be 15 of those resin events if you're only counting the hero rit you get out of it. <laughs> Are there like female treasure hoarders? Because it seems like they're all like dudes at this point. Mendahan? Do you want to be free, Mendahan? What would you do if I let you free? Will you be my slave? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. What do you want? Oh, 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 yeah, sure. What do you to get him away from their children, and we're like, oh, those treasure hoarders must be bad for locking this guy up, and we just come in and let him free, and he's like, man, thanks, I'm gonna go creep on some more children, and we're like, oh, gosh darn it, we should have figured out the situation first, instead of just coming in guns a-blazing. Lakshaw, <laughs> ちゃんと俺は用意するよ。いいえ。君のおかげで助かったんだから。俺は Action is my reward. Well, do you know? Present to your no hakuanaika. Kiran, I had to. Go to Ming Sing Jewelry. Ming Sing, Ming Sing, Ming Sing, Ming Sing Jewelry. The infamous treasure transnational organizers identified by their ribbon wing. I couldn't read that uh, loading screen in time. But they do have pretty interesting tidbits about this game. Like apparently Coco Goats is a real thing. I don't know why it told me to go up here. I guess what's supposed to be this thing right here? Maybe not? Nope, not. It's not this place. Yeah, I was going over the right place, I think. Nope, it's down there. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sing si. Sing si. Konnichiwa! ここに来れば綺麗な箱をもらえるって思ったに言われたんだけどええ、彼から聞いたわ。彼を助けてくれてありがとう。うちの商品の多くは彼が集めてきてくれてるの。彼に何かあったら私の商売もしまいだわ。
sugar frosted slime. I'm still not sold on this gift idea. <laughs> Bring icing on slime. Can we eat that? And it's just like, why did you eat it? Oh, it's not. Oh, it is a. Yeah, it's a quest item. You can't eat it. A truly exquisite sweet treat that came to a certain someone in a dream. This dream was made a reality through someone else's hard work and, of course, a healthy dose of boom shakalaka. Surely this is a gift fit for someone who belongs to the upper echelons of society. She's like, oh, monster slime, disgusting. <laughs> uh, Ning Guang, Ning Guang is like, ew, this stuff is for peasants. Looks poor. Well, where do we go now? Up here. Uh, how do I get up there? Can I just climb? <sighs> Sorry, I yawned there. <laughs> It's a little bit early in the morning right now. Maybe I should have uh, drank some coffee or something before I started recording. Finding a, me finding a place to hide. <laughs> just, I'll just uh, go into this little crevice here where no one will find me. Where I belong. <laughs> I guess I should be using this character since I'm in story story mode activate Look for the guide to the Jade chamber Okay Buyun Buyun Byun Kokusei ni iwareta tori da to tashika He's like, the fuck is that? That was suspicious. There was like a long pause there. It's like, what? Why is this little fairy asking me if I saw the moon? Am I on drugs again? I shouldn't have taken all that Xanax this morning. Oh yeah, baby, you know it. Oh, that's why he paused? What's Yuhen? Oh, is that the code um Kirtin gave us? And she's a Yuhen? Oh, we just we just teleport up there. I guess that's cool. Ooh, look at those uh, legs. Jujun Karst. Ah,恭子だ。恭子だ。初めまして。プレゼントを用意したんだ。気に入ってくれると嬉しいな。私に。どうも。招待したのは私なのに。for some reason, I uh, I just imagine like Ning Guan being like for uh, like in the exterior, she's like very stoic and uh, gives kind of like a really powerful um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Powerful like uh, presence. But like secretly, she has a super huge weakness for weak or a huge weakness for cute things. And the moment like she sees uh, Paimon, she's like, "Oh my god, I need to take her!" And she just like grabs her and runs off. I'm gonna have to take you home. <laughs> nice place, this jade chamber. It's my first time coming to a place this high up. <laughs> oh, I can get you higher. Kini
商売を始めた時からこの宮殿を作るための資金を集めてきた最初部屋一つ程度の広さだった軍玉閣も今やリーユへ上空の月を覆い隠すほどになった、wow, look at this place. It's pretty, pretty epic. そしていつか七国を覆うことになると私を信じてるわ Does not lack for ambition. 軍玉閣に登れる客人はそう多くないセピュロス騎士団の代理団長は手紙の中であなたを褒めてたわ The acting grandmaster? Oh really? Is she friends with Jean? They're like best buds in the secret? だからあなたがリーウェに着いた日から私はあなたを探した何そしてあなたたちが防除旅館に着いた時にあなたたちの動向を把握したまさかオーナーって七星の部下なのかヴァーゴールデッド That name sounds familiar but I don't remember who that was One of your people is that So, so, so is, um,、uh, hold on. If everyone at Wang Shu in, oh, Gold Verdet is the boss lady there. Got okay. So she looks over. Ningguang is like kind of the, I don't know, the CEO of that place. I don't know. Whereas、uh, Virgo Debt is kind of like, just like the, the district manager or the store manager. <laughs> We also ran into the Yu Hen not long ago. Yu Hen, Yu Hen. Oh, wait, so the Yu Hen is different than. I'm having a lot of trouble following all the different organizations and、uh, factions and stuff in this game. That's only Because she secretly, I'm in my head canon now.、Uh, Ningguang secretly has a weak spot for、uh, cute things, so she like secretly wants to get alone with Paimon and draw her or something. I would like to draw you. You are just too adorable. I would like to make paintings of you and capture your adorable form. Ke Ching said that the Xing Qi Xing. Would not wish ill on Rex Lapis? Eh, send me to Tsukiya no Aru Anatanga. What a statue of Shinji Nai no Moakar. Conkaiwa Gokayo took the many short I stand. Sky's the limit. Where are you going, Ningguang? Ningguang, Jie Jie. Ningguang, Jie Jie. Speak to Ningguan, or I can、uh, explore. <laughs> bai Shi, Bai Wen. Can I speak to them? No. Zhen Hai. Welcome to the Jade Chamber. How may I be of service? Hello, who are you? I am Lady Ningguan's bodyguard. Haha, <laughs> traveler. What business brings you here?、Uh, Ningguan brings me here. What can you tell about Ningguang? Ah, so you're another one of those who want to find out Lady Ningguang's secrets. I already know she has kids. Yeah, <laughs> She has a weakness for cute things. Are you? Unfortunately, I know no more than you do. <laughs> Lady Ningguang has never been one to let her guard get too close. Guards get too close. I'm only in this post in the first place thanks to my cousin. Bye, Xiao. 
pestered her about the idea constantly, and even then, she only agreed to it reluctantly. Your cousin? Ahem. Sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Shh. Keep it to yourself, okay? If anyone asked, you heard nothing. And especially not from me. I kind of want to ask him about his training. Hello, who are you? About physical training. Oh, you're interested in training too? Perhaps we should find a place to do some sparring when on one of the one of my days off. Although my role in the Millilith is mostly an administrative one, I still prefer to stay in fighting fit when I can. That's why I often take odd jobs that involve physical labor. A little extra muscle mass where it counts does wonders for one's appearance, don't you think? You have muscles? Psh! I'll show you real muscles. I'm surprised they actually let you just walk around here. You think like Paimon would be like, let's head back. Bring! Let's head back to Ningguan. Like block you off. I'm kind of glad that this area was introduced afterwards. <laughs> so you can expect there to be no geoculi around for you to pick up. But then again, they can always just add more, I guess. I don't know. Talk to this guy. There's no treasure chests up here, though. Hello, treasure chests. Come to me. Wow, look at that. What side of the world? Oh, this side is the world that has not been developed, so you don't get to see much. It actually does not look too good on this side. I bet the other side looks better because there's actually like real playable landscape there. <laughs> oh, you can see the boat. Uh, Baido, Beat, Baido. It's like boat. In the distance there. Can I climb up here? <laughs> My exploration like brain is taking over when I'm supposed to be like focused on the story. I'm just like, oh what's this place? This place is so cool, I wanna explore. The story can wait. Oh, I don't know if I can get up there. If I had the Animo Grana gadget. I might, ooh, nope. I might be able to like, use an updraft or something to get up there. Come on, you can do it. Yes. I might need to go back down here. No! <laughs> ah well, uh, let's, uh, let's not dilly-dally too much. Ningguan, Ningguan. Only in the broadest of strokes. If there are many gods, does that mean like... It kind of like, if there are gods... You usually think of as like a being that's super powerful and it's kind of a rare to be able to attain that much power. So when there's many gods, as if kind of implying maybe like uh, most people are gods, it kind of like makes the word god lose its meaning. Like if everyone was a super athlete, then they'll just be called athletes or something. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess that's kind of not really important. Maybe by many gods, uh, in the English translation, maybe instead of like gods, gods, where it kind of implies a strong being, maybe they mean like, what's a kind of like a, a godly being, but like a ascended being, but not like, not, um, 
thought of as a god? Like, what, what would be a word be for, like, someone like... I don't know. I was gonna say Goku, but I think Goku is, like, par more powerful than any god at this point. Uh, someone super powerful. Like, any, like, shonen uh, anime, like, main character, pretty much. Like, they're really powerful, but technically they're not gods. Like, what would you call that? Like, some sort of ascended being. Maybe that's kind of the sentiment they're going for when they use the word god. They don't actually mean, like, Thor and Odin and uh, Zeus. Like, that kind of god. I don't know. Many long wars that were fought between... Okay. Peiwatotairiku にのこった七人の勝者は敗者の残骸の上で国や城を作り七神の時代が始まった in the end, only seven victors. So yeah, it sounds like there were like a lot of gods. And uh, they wiped each other out until only seven remained. So it could be like similar to my uh, shonen anime um, uh, analogy. Maybe there was a point, there was like a lot of really strong fighters and uh, they enlisted in a uh, world's martial art tournament and they or something like that that fought to the death <laughs> and the like thousands and thousands of competitors joined but only seven were the the winners or the champions or something I don't know or only seven survived those are giant spears of rock hurled by Red Lapis during the war. What? Show us. Oh, really? 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 Why hide the Exuvia then? <laughs> so the Exuvia, for those who don't know, it's like the dead body of Rex Lapis, the dragon that fell from the sky. あの日のこと。あまりにも突然で対応しようがなかった。その場にいたならわかるわよね。失勢の敵は塔にリーウエコーにいる。厄介なことになる前に行動しないと。だから私は先祖の亡骸を隠して敵の行動に牽制を仕
he didn't want to sound like he's like out of the loop or anything so he's like oh yeah Jobberwalk, yeah, I heard of it. Yeah, yeah, I heard lots of good things are coming, uh, gonna come out of that one. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing your, your, the result of your work. And then, they, and then, and then it, it just kind of like escalates from that point where like everyone somehow like her hears about this project Jobberwalkie, where, um, where they ha eventually have like this huge like company wide um, presentation. <laughs> about this this uh, project and everyone was like yeah yeah Jabberwocky is awesome and then everyone is leaving the presentation and it's just like what is this Jabberwocky and it kind of like reiterates the the whole like how nobody knows what it's talking about where one person asks what is this Jabberwocky project about and then the, uh, the person he's talking to is like it's that really important one don't you know I thought you would know and then the other person who wants to like stay important i guess in the everyone's eyes like oh yeah 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 i remember now <laughs> uh, actually i'm just gonna quickly google what that show was called real quick just so because I'm gonna I end things after this episode, so I kind of wanna. Um, better off Ted is what it's called. <laughs> it's like a silly like common, uh, comedy, about like organizations and how people, like some of the funny things that happen inside like big organizations and big companies, and uh, the hierarchies and stuff that gets created. <laughs> Better off Ted. That that's what I was uh, referencing. So yeah, yeah. Like I said, I'm going to end the this video after this conversation. So at this point, is him? Uh, we're referring to child, maybe. I don't think it would be Zhong Li because uh, uh, he's like part of this city, whereas Child is not. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when we go inside. Bloop, 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 bloop. I hope the cutscene doesn't start right away because I was supposed to end it and I got a little distracted. So yeah, I'm just gonna end things like abruptly here. So in the next episode or the next video I do, we'll, we'll continue right off of this point. So hopefully do, I'll see you in the next one and I hope you enjoyed this episode or this video. I keep saying episode as if this is like something like an official production or something. So anyways, goodbye.